I see these guys every now and then. Reminds me of a really awkward times in my life. 2013-ish. I had a I had this uh, <laughs> breakdown. Should I say mental mental breakdown? And just grab a few chainsaws and uh, sort of so to speak charge at the at a bunch of uh, date tree stumps. Yeah, date trees. You don't carve into them. You don't do carving in them, but. <laughs> They last ever since, ever since then, yeah. Uh, this guy is uh, falling apart faster than the others. But yeah, I love them. Wish I could preserve them somehow. But yeah, they belong to the past because they were part of the ground. They were the stump that's still inside the, the lawn, the ground in the lawn. And uh, they were also part of history since they were more than 50 years old each. And uh, I just happened to carve in them because they were in a big, big lawn with palm trees and date trees and these were these were cut down leftovers they were still in the ground so it was cool that they were power part of the ground still um in their in their place where they were put in the ground 50 60 70 years ago and uh i cannot forget how everyone Really loved it. The, the kids um, in Kata Garden, they they went they go for for a walk every day, and um, they used to come to the palm tree lawn and dance around those. <laughs> it was kind of funny. And this guy is even funnier because a bunch of kids came over with their uh, uh, like you know little figurines of. Um, a knight on a horse and, and a warrior and they play as if they were <laughs> fighting from the top of this um, you know tower <laughs> I still have that picture somewhere uh, I began with this one and then went over making this one and I felt like they're incomplete as there were just a couple of them so I had this one it has the cutaway. It does have it. <laughs> Don't think I skimped on that. Um, I'm no carver by any means, but whew, that is a landmark in my in my journey, I guess. The first mental breakdown that I put into art. So there you go. If you have any questions, put them down below. And um, anything around chainsaws, of course, whether it's timber cutting or even um, diamond chainsaws, like Rock Boss or Squarna ICS, as I mentioned before, explaining about the Squarna K970. It's a real cool machine. <laughs> I know it has nothing to do with this, but this uh, K9 something, <laughs> they all were 94 CC beasts that used to um, cut against the, the reinforced concrete in full speed, never going down under 90 something hundred RPMs. Yeah, always above 9,000. 9, and something RPM, never dropping down. They are beasts. So anyway, these I carved in, carved with uh, one small chainsaw, a carver's chainsaw with a regular blade, 
or I mean a guide bar and chain. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Copper Derby. She's going back to this one. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There she is. They know where to find the good stuff. <laughs> they have a nice home right now. <laughs> Ooh. I had thoughts to hang him on a little crane, a hydraulic crane, and just sink them into some kind of material that will absorb, be absorbed in, into the wood and maybe preserve them and then coat them with um, very thin epoxy somehow. But no, not a real, real plan that I can do because I don't have the means. So these are just leftovers of something that was really, really nice part of the landscape here. It's long gone. Uh, I don't think anyone is going to put the money in preserving these. Put him, like just let him dive in, in barrels of good stuff and then coat them something nice. Anyhow, here they are. That's my story. That's their story. <laughs> the chest parts. And they're right up to my waist. This one reaches to my belly button and the others are just at the height of my belt. It's, they're cool. I love them. Look at that.